Good morning, good morning, good morning. Let's talk about passive income. There is a big, big buzzword about passive income. Everyone wants to buy dividend stock. Everyone wants to create a situation where they can get passive income. In the corporate papers, I am going to add a new program. It's called the Passive Income Program. Guys, listen up. Years and years ago, I had a friend who had a business that she wanted to sell her business because she wanted to cash out. And then we went to dinner and I convinced her not to sell her business. And she says, but you know, I'm just kind of sick of it. And I was like, you know, you got a cash cow, baby girl. You got a cash cow. This is what you do. You hire someone to run the business to free you up to do what you want to do. And she listened to me, you know, she tried to sell it. It didn't sell for, you know, people weren't going to pay her what she wanted. So she hired a manager. The manager, she paid six figures. The manager does the hiring. The manager does the management, all of this. And my friend works maybe four to 10 hours a week, maybe. Last time I talked to her, this allows her, she's always traveling. Last time I saw her, she was in uh, Brazil. She takes at least 10 trips a year. She opened up another business. She has a tons and tons of free time. And my friend is 40 years old. So. I didn't understand what I was doing, but that was the beginning of the passive income program. Here on YouTube, there are many people who are trying to convince you that you can develop passive income with a little bit of money, a little bit of time. And I'm, I'm, I'm here to tell you it is fundamentally false. They're, they're, consist they're consciously lying to you. The passive income program that I am going to create it's going to take you two to five years to develop. What does this look like? What does this mean? Number one, you're not quitting your job no time soon. Number two, you're going to be working harder and more than you've ever done in your life. However, I'm going back to my friend. It took her eight months to find this person. She found the person. The person is still there and the person is a godsend. So essentially, we're going to take you through the process of getting your holding company, getting your first operating company, and then we're going to teach you how to run a, a business. Once again, 2019, I had a heart attack, right? Did I lose my house? Nope. Did I lose my cars? Nope. Did I even have to touch my savings? Nope because I had a business that was semi-passive. At that point, my business was 100% passive. So I know what I'm talking about. This is documented proof that you guys saw me have a heart attack and I'm still in the same house and I actually bounce back bigger, better, deafer, bolder. So I know what I'm doing and I'm gonna teach you how to do it. Do you know that the average small business income is 71,000? You want to know why? Because it's a one person business. Uh, we were having the conversation about Bandman Kevo. Uh, I don't believe Bandman Kevo makes $2 million a year because he doesn't have the infrastructure to make $2 million. I can believe he's making six figures a month off social media. I can believe that. But $2 million, Graham Stephan doesn't make $2 million and he's white. Graham Stephan, Meet Kevin, they don't make, they don't, Meet Kevin, I think he was doing a million a month, and Meet Kevin actually has staff. Mr. Beast, who makes several million a month, has like a staff of 30 or 40 people. Here's the thing, you cannot make multiple millions of dollars per month as a one-person operation. You can't do it. It's not going to work. And we're going to teach you in the passive income program, which is going to come a little later. Why is it going to come a little later? Because I know you're ready for your passive income today. Well, sweetheart, it ain't going to happen. And I'm going to tell you why it's not going to happen. 
because you as a person has to fundamentally change who you are to develop this passive income. I had a consult the other day, was talking to the person, and at the end of the consult, a lot of his preconceived notions changed. Look, are you smart enough to start a business that will create passive income for you two to five years from now? Absolutely. But are you smart enough to realize that it's gonna take you two to five years to do it? That's the problem. Everyone's like, let's do it now. Let's do it in a few weeks. You know, uh, we were having a conversation about people starting business for, since 2014, I've been starting start a service business. And a lot of charlatan and hooks up have jumped on and we're talking about similar things and they dressed it up a little bit better. But at the core, I am the first one on YouTube to be talking about, you know, someone asked me doing a live stream, it's like, hey, I have no money, I have no assets, what can I do to make some money? I said, like, boom, start a service business. I've been saying that since 2014. And there's a lot of people out here who have co-opted that and they did not give me credit, which is fine. So with the passive income program, I'm carving it in stone because no one else is doing this and honestly, I don't think anyone else can do this because at three points in my life, I've had robust passive income. What is robust passive income? Six figures to seven figures a year. That's robust passive income and I've done that. So I'm gonna teach you how to build a business and scale up. Once again, there are like 30 million businesses in America, right? And 29 million and 870,000 of them only have one, one person. They're single member businesses. They are single member businesses. And without the ability of learning how to hire, learning how to manage, learning how to brand, learning how to create a corporate culture, you're not going to ever get past that $71,000. Now, I've had days where I've made 40 and $50,000 in one day, in one day. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna start cooking with gas. So this Sunday, we're gonna have um, the LP. For those of you from way back in the day when you used to go to the Kmart and buy your record albums, you had the LP, the long play version, the extended play version. This Sunday's training is gonna be an LP. We're gonna go deeper. We're gonna go with the primary training of getting your operating companies, and then we're gonna get into the passive income program. Now, make no mistake about it. You've gotta work. Like, once again, you're not quitting your job. During the last night's live stream, we have people who were dancing with the fantasy of quitting their job. It is a fantasy for most people. Most people who are gonna quit their job, they're going to, you know what they're gonna do? They're gonna get another job. They're not gonna start a business. They don't have a plan. They're gonna get another job. And in a few weeks or a few months, they're gonna be right back to where they was before they quit this job. You know, it's like this mantra. The man, we, we, we the people, we're standing up. We want these employers to treat us better. We want these employers to pay us more money. It ain't going to happen. You want to know why? One word, automation. Your job is a ticking time bomb. Your job is going to go boom at some point in the future. If a piece of code or an automated robot can do your job in a matter of five to 10 years, that's going to happen. So while you're like, I'm quitting this job. Good luck, homie. Because when you need this job in the future, it won't be there because you will be replaced by a robot. You will be replaced by some software. I know a lot of y'all think that I'm talking about, you know, I've been doing, I used to do a lot of these future type videos here on this channel a long, long time ago. But essentially, what's gonna happen is the job that you hate today is not going to exist tomorrow not going to exist so what do you have to do you have to get on the side where you become an owner you have the employee quadrant you have the owner quadrant 
you have the self-employed quadrant, and you have the business owner quadrant. You need to move to the owner, self-employed, or business quadrant so you can take advantage of this automation. Automation is one of the reasons that I was able to have a heart attack and still make money. A lot of my stuff was automated. I didn't have any, I didn't have an employee working. I just had YouTube was an employee. My websites are in employees. See where I'm going with this? You've got to become an owner to play this game. Because essentially, I am just sitting here cracking up. It's like, I'm gonna quit my job. This reminds me of a friend of mine years ago. He had a hot little wife. She was very, very attractive. And one day he comes home and she tells him, she want, I want a divorce, I'm unhappy. And my friend who is very smart, very smart, he was like, okay. And you know what my friend did? He started dating in front of her. She want a divorce? Okay, this is what we do. I'll sleep in the spare bedroom. We'll work this out, we'll file papers. And he started dating. And one day, the wife comes out and there's this beautiful chick sitting in his car because he came home and he forgot something. And she's like, who is this? And he's like, your replacement. You don't want to be married no more? Cool, I will do better. He got in the car, went off on his little date, had sex with that chick that night. Guess what happened? A week later, he's at work, he gets a phone call. Hey, we need to talk. He's like, uh, you know what time I get off? I'll, I'll be home at a certain time. He gets home, she is in the living room crying. You know, I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. I don't know, you know, I, I, I'm rethinking things. I, I think we should save our marriage. And my friend was like, you really want to be married to me? Because, you know, a few weeks ago I came home and you were like, I want a divorce. I'm not happy. What has changed? And she said, when you had that bitch in your car, that's what's changed. You have the ability to get a better looking woman than me. And I don't like that. I'm going to be honest. That, that move. See, instead of sitting here begging and whining, he showed her that he could live without her. And that, ra that really, really, really fucked up her game. Because every time I see my dude, I'm just like, you the man. They still married. See, he didn't beg her, he didn't whine, he didn't cry, he didn't go MGTOW or red pill. He went dominant male. Oh, you want to be out of here? Cool. I will be fine without you. Matter of fact, I can get something younger and prettier than you. And he showed her in her face. He rubbed his balls all up in her face like, yeah, you want to leave? Fine. Deuces. I'll be okay. And when she saw that he was in the mindset, because he approached this from a strong middle mindset that he could be fine, he took his stuff, moved into the second bedroom. He didn't get angry, he did not yell at her, and he started dating hotter, younger chicks right in front of her face. A lot of y'all would have been like, well, baby, baby, come on, let's go get marriage counseling. He's like, he said, man, when she told me that, I was sitting there like, and he actually said, because he, he's my good friend, he said, what would Glendon do? Glendon would date. Glendon, he, he did what I would do. If I was in that situation, I would do the same thing. I've, I've kind of done that in many regards. So understand, when you become an owner, you will be showing your employer that you can exist without them. See, that right there changes the game. When you can create your own energy, energy and your own organic, that changes the game. So a lot of these folks who are quitting their jobs, they're not going anywhere. They're just gonna get another job. It's gonna be the same old, same old. 
But you can be like these folks, the great resignation. We quit our jobs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or you can be like my boy, I'm not going to quit my job. I'm going to upgrade my job. He showed her he was capable of upgrading. And my friend, by no means is he super handsome, but dude got a body. Dude's living in the gym, got the six pack, choked down the protein every day. He doesn't even eat out. He takes his, he eats, he cooks all his meals at home. He's got that Greek God body. And uh, he can pull him. He got that mouthpiece. He got that game. He got that dominant male game. And let's talk about that. All of you people who are going to quit your job and go to another job, you're not displaying dominant energy. You're doing lateral shifts. You're not upgrading. And this is what the passive income program is going to be about. It's going to be about an upgrade. And once again, you guys are going to have to work. My consult has informed me that I've got work to do because I need to press upon you guys. You're not quitting your damn job, man. Let that fantasy go. You're not in a position to quit your job. You don't have any cash flow. You don't have any assets. You don't have anything to replace your current job income. Years and years ago, we used to have this saying, don't quit your job before you have another one. This is what we would do back in the day. We would go interview for another job, get a job offer, and then put in our two weeks notice. We would not just quit our job and not have another job lined up. Essentially, we've already interviewed, we've already received our offer letter, and then we just go two weeks, then boom, start working this new job. You clowns are quitting your job with no safety net. It is hilarious. So you're gonna wanna be in the passive income program once again two to five years and these two to five years are going to go by regardless if you're doing anything or not to change your life i'm telling you the truth like i told you the truth like you can start a service business and you can start making a lot of money but once again the big issue with service businesses most people don't know how to hire they don't know how to manage they don't know how to scale I'm about to show you. I'm all about the receipts. These are car titles for paid off cars, right? These are the 29 cars that I own, right? I am going to show you in 25 months, starting from September 1st, 2021 to September 1st, 2022 to September 21st, 2023, that I am going to build 1.5 million per year in passive income. I'm going to show you. And then this is something, the passive income program works with any business, any business. You can be like my friend Dina in Brazil drinking tropical drinks while she has a business back here putting money, dropping money in her pockets, dropping money in her pockets because she worked hard and she built this business. She had the infrastructure she had the container to slide an employee in there who's a manager to run this business for her which gave her massive free time every time i talk to her you know she always doing something she always doing something she cannot go back to doing what she did there's no way she's like if this girl quit i'm gonna hire me someone else she's like i'll run it as long as i have to take me to find someone else but I will have, she said, I'm addicted to this. And you will be addicted. Once again, the passive income program 
will be a component of the corporate papers two to five years. You're not going to do this like two. Honestly, two years is very fast. More likely, it's going to take most of you five years. Now, what, what's that going to look like? You're going to have a business that makes you two hundred and fifty thousand dollars a year that you do not have to go to every day. You can work from home. You can manage from home. Your employees will be running the business. Uh, Erica, you know, Erica's always out traveling and doing stuff. And Erica has employees to run her business. See, one of the things I learned, and I, I'm really pissed off because I've been telling, you know, JT Automations, all this other stuff. I've been saying about starting service businesses before he even came on YouTube. And a lot of you guys don't want to give me my credit because I'm not super flashy and I'm not with the whoa hustlers and all this other bullshit. But I'm learning. And so today I declare I'm going to create corporate citizens that are going to create a passive income business in two to five years. No one on YouTube is doing this. And you want to know why? Because they don't have the talent. They don't have the skills. So today I am the guy that is coming with the passive income program. No one else is doing this because I'm going to tell you guys the truth. I'm going to tell you what you need to do. I'm going to set it up for you to win in the future. And right now you got to work. So you don't want to miss the webinar this Sunday. Today is Thursday. So you need to get your booty in the passive income papers, the, the, well, the corporate papers which will have the passive income component. I'm going to teach you how to set up your business where you don't become a slave. Where you like, honestly, before I started this car rental business, I had oodles and oodles of free time because I set my business up that way. And I'm going to set this auto, auto rental company the same way because I already see the other day I was out there by the cars and the lady who she just stopped, she's like, you rent these cars. See, once I get my commercial insurance, the sky is the limit. The sky is the limit. And I'm going to talk about that whole process as I go forward. But what you guys want to do, you want to get in the passive, you know, you don't want to keep waiting because the price is going up September 1st. But you want to get in now because we're going to be talking about training, getting you trained up to become a passive income business owner in the future. Now, let, let's talk about this. So in the next two years, when I get this $1.5 million in passive income, I can retire. I can lie to you like our rich journey is like, yeah, I retired in two years. Even though I'm 54, even though I've been working since I've been 18, I just decided to say I retired in two years starting in 2021. Bullshit. But I'm going to show you the process. I'm going to illustrate it just like I'm showing you. You know, some people's minds are blown that I paid cash money for 29 cars. Let me do a special show on that. Because, see, first of all, I'm going to teach you guys how to be mentally strong. This is why you have all of these charlatan and fake ass YouTubers talking about financing cars. Because they cannot create a business that gives them enough cash. I've got 17 titles here. I got two titles. Two titles to my personal vehicles. So I've got 19 car titles. Actually, I own 31 cars, including my Porsche and BMW. All paid for in cash. And there's a video in the community section, this guy who was trying to do Turo financing cars and he and his partners lost their ass. Be sure to check that out. There are people that will convince you that leasing and all this stuff is great. And you know, I'm beginning to understand that many people like to talk a good game, but they're not, they're not practitioners. They're not actually doing anything. They're not doing it. 
I had a clown on Savage Finance talk about, well, you could start with a small account and grow into a large account. And I was like, okay, cool, send me proof. And I gave him my email address. And he says, you have a good day. Because he ain't do it. See, there are so many people that are caught up in shoulda, woulda, coulda, it's possible, but they're not doing it. That's the infuriating part. They're not doing it. I am actually doing it. 17 car titles, 29 cars, million dollar business. So what you wanna do is get in the corporate papers today. Stop pussyfooting around, stop waiting around, go ahead and get in the corporate papers today so you can be present for the webinar 5 p.m. this Sunday. So that's all I got for you guys. I will see you later.